end of the stretch, and they got to get Golden Pal. Golden Pal now set down by Arad Ortiz. Lieutenant Dan trying to make a race of it in second. Emirati had his third the inside, but it is Golden Pal. Golden Pal, wire to wire in the Breeders' Cup turf sprint. I'm so closely attached to this horse. I love him so much, and to have him really come through in front of, you know, on our biggest stage in the Breeders' Cup is great. I saw an interesting picture on social media, him training. He wasn't wearing shoes. He paddock schooled. He wasn't wearing shoes. Is that something normal for him? Yeah. Uh, he's trained his whole life without shoes. And we put him on like, uh, my, what I say is I either go five at, five days or five, five hours out when I shoe him. Um, but a lot of my horses don't train with In fact, most of my horses don't train with, with shoes. Um, but he's just doing great. Off in the Woodford presented by FanDuel, Golden Pal, Gear Jockey come out together and Golden Pal slides down toward the rail and has the lead by a length. 21.25 seconds for the opening quarter, Golden Pal the leader. Midway on the final turn, Golden Pal leads it by a length. Golden Pal leading Gear Jockey leads it by three lengths. And then Artima City limits his third. Charcoal is fourth down toward the inside. Bad Beat Brian next toward the outside. They're all behind Golden Pal. Golden Pal a three length lead, final 16th. Golden Pal in front. Late charge from Artima City limits. Golden Pal wins it. I ride another win in the Woodford in record breaking fashion. Can you just tell me what it feels like to ride a horse like this? He's an amazing horse. Uh, he's just a fast horse. He came out good today out of there. And he showed how fast he is. He just keep going. He's a, a true champion. Beautiful ride. Congratulations. He deserves all the credit. I thought he ran great. It was perfect conditions for him. And he went into the race and out of the race the same. He's ready to go. I've always said this in a lot of interviews, he'd be like uh, Tom Brady or uh, Brett Favre, you know, right at the height of their game. He's just real confident about himself. Uh, every time he comes onto the track or into the paddock when he runs, he knows what he's here for and he's very focused. Peppermints. Loves, loves peppermints. <laughs>